G'day guys, Sunlight here. Um, yesterday I was at the RC Haulers um, truck display, local RC club, and um, during during the day a gentleman brought his custom model Mercedes Actros 3260. Um, large scale model, it was an RC and it was all fully custom built and it was a piece of art it was just amazing uh, so it deserves a separate video and I just wanted to put this wee bit on the beginning to, to make sure that anyone who's a random viewer knew this was not my model the gentleman, I never called his name and I didn't get much details on the model unfortunately I was, I was too busy picking my drawer up off the floor to be honest but we got some video of it and if you listen carefully you'll hear some of the uh, guys talking to him and he does explain some of the the model so just listen to that the what I do know is custom built um, he built the the cab out of um, fiberglass he told us he made a wooden uh, form I guess you'd call it and fiberglass the, uh, the cab the, and he did not work to a scale, he doesn't know what scale it is, it's a bit like me, it's if it looks right it is right sort of deal, you just use photos as a reference. And um, yeah, all metal, wood, it's unbelievable that it's a homemade unit and not a um, bought unit, it's incredible. He uh, flipped the uh, trailer over for me so I could have a look underneath at the, underneath the trailer at the um, little airbags and that, and he said the airbags come from a farm machinery some kind of rubber grommet or something like that so yeah, very impressive model, enjoy yeah because that's always what you go off isn't it, with your sizing there's no it? measurements taken to make it or anything, it's all done from photographs oh. the whole thing, yeah, cool. I started with a photograph with a wheel in it, that was how I Worked everything out for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you can't on. get too far ahead of yourself. Because if you do, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do the next stage. You know what I mean? You get one bit out of scale, do everything else. Yeah, you, this is your kind of completely so stretch. Everything. Yep. Jesus. Cab the lot. Yep. How did you do this cab? Made a huge big block of castle wood. Oh, carved it. And then. Um, so just place it? What's that? This no. Fiberglass. There's a dummy motor under it. Um, V8. Yep. Yeah. All made out of hydrogen. Oh, it's Oh, I feel I don't know what the hell I'm doing. If you even do. Yeah. If you even do want to see it. <laughs> it's in the thousands. Yeah. Oh, at least. It's going on Put them together, basically a whole kit. Yeah. Then you add your lights and sounds and paint oh, okay. and remote and all that. So yeah, it adds up. It adds up. I mean, the only one that's different is the boom bank sitting under the and, uh, under the roof on the left here. Yeah. So that's yeah. all 3D printed. That's all. Yeah. So it's probably about two and a half. It's all the same, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. uh, the whole thing was wood and um, I was talking to Owen because I was throwing through yep. through his transports in yep. his colour and um, I was talking to him when I did this one I said whatever happened to Michael's one he said come with me so I went and here it is in a glass case up in the shed I said hell it still looked good he said the kids were never allowed to <laughs> G'day guys, Cyanide here. Alright, alright, alright. Hey. 
You want to talk to people here? Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, come on, man. All right, relax. We'll do that again, eh? Sit down. Come on. Thank you.